What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shutter Talk. This is episode... That's what it's called? Nine. Eight. eight. Yes, it's called Shutter Talk. Um, <laughs> this is actually the second person who... What is so funny? You can't be talking in the background. Why? She's the director, bro. Okay, this is the actually the... Not, this is actually the... Um, Ninth episode, second episode, I actually have someone who's on who actually does any sort of filmmaking or photography. Um, we got the good old Jaden Moyes. I don't know if you know him. You might know him because uh, the only people who listen to my podcast are my friends. What's up? Um, so how about you introduce yourself? Tell us, you know, your name, your number. Uh, my number? <laughs> yeah. No. My name is Jaden Moyes and I do, what do you, stuff what do you with do? a camera. What do you do? Where do we meet? We how do you know me? In elementary school. Was it elementary I, school? Yes. Remember I used to be your good friend, bro? I popped your soccer ball with a... I kicked it at a bus. Oh, I remember that. When you... I remember <laughs> you, you just kicked it. just got the ball, too. You kicked it, and it went right through that fence hole. And the bus came... No, I kicked it over on purpose. No, no, it was no... It was no... It was no, no, it was no breeze. I blamed it on no. It was actually me. <laughs> You're actually a dick. What the hell? You bought my soccer ball. That was one of my favorite ones. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't remember. That's fine. It was a man you ball. You just got it. It was, I remember it was for your birthday. It was the first day. And I kicked it over the fence. <laughs> and then no, I still came. have that. I was that, expecting a bus to come. I still, talk to me. I still have that man you ball. You do? The mini so which one? one was? No, it was a big one. Fuck. And yeah, then, I remember I was like, yo, I'm going to be so cool with this man you ball. And you destroyed it. I just remember I literally have like PTSD of that bus coming around the corner and just smacking it. But um, yeah, so we've been friends since, um, why am I holding this up? Since <laughs> elementary school. And uh, let's just talk about a little history first. Met in elementary. Mm-hmm. Then, well, we actually were friends. Not really, though. You kind of hated me, eh? I'm going to go st- I I'm going to go deep. Annoying. You thought I was annoying. Mm-hmm. You still think I'm annoying? No. Well, well sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, it's same here. <laughs> wow. Well, why did you think is. I was annoying? I don't know. I want to know why. I don't know. You just talk a lot. I don't talk a lot. I'm just, that's just how I am. Yeah, I know. That's why I started the podcast, because I talk a lot. Now you can get it out. But okay, whatever. He thought I was annoying, and we weren't really friends until grade 11, but you left to Louis. Mm -hmm. What was the process of that, bro? Why did you even go? Did you think you were really that good at soccer? I was Louis Riel, by the way, is a sports school, if you don't know. That was decent. It was, it was okay. Was that, when did, um, I actually have a question. When did you switch and decide that I'm not going to be a professional soccer player? (laughs) How did that happen? Like, I've actually never asked you this. It's a funny thing. It was a school tournament. I got a knee in the back. How long was it in? Like, how long have you been going to school? This was grade 10. So the year, like... How was the first year? First year was good. Like, it was... I don't know. Like, it was two hours on the bus in the morning. (laughs) Two hours on the bus after school and then practice every day. But... And then the grade 10... Two hour bus? Did you live at the same place? Like, yeah. I lived in Britannia. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And then I you just exposed Orleans. where you live, That's bro. Fine. Come find me. <laughs> and then grade ten, I got a knee in the back in the so school it was tournament. An injury? Yeah, and you thought it was, was a career out. ender. No, I was just out for half the season, and then I went to play again, and then it wasn't the same, so I quit. So you quit, and you went to um, went back to Woodruff. Why did you choose to go to Woodruff? Because it's, it's closer closest? to home, and everybody that I knew was there, and she was there. Okay. Okay, but then so yeah, we became good friends grade eleven. That's when you started, right? Because mm-hmm. you had no friends and I had no friends, mm-hmm. so uh, <laughs> it was just kind of worked. So we didn't look like losers. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, if I'm that's exactly. That's how not it exactly it. But um, yeah, we started chilling. I remember the first time I drank was with you at. <laughs> I remember this clearly. It was it was Rain's backyard. Do you remember that? And no. broccoli was like the biggest song. Broccoli. Remember? Oh, By the, the dram? the song, not the food. No, no, no. The, you know the song? And we went we mm-hmm. went laser tagging. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> How do you not remember this, bro? I don't remember this any of this. This is an important moment of we my life. We went laser tagging. We went laser tagging with Rain, Megan, I don't even fucking know who. And I then we went to her this. house. No. I don't remember this. You remember this. I know you remember this. Okay, but yeah, I don't that was the first time. Tagging. And... Okay, but like moving on, let's just get through this history part because no one cares. <laughs> um, you, we started, uh, you started doing business. How did you, like honestly, when, what, so you said, okay, I'm not going to be a soccer player anymore. 
And then you're like, you come. He, one day he comes to me. He's like, "Yo, let's start a clothing company." <laughs> or I don't know how how it actually worked, but um, yeah. Why? Why? I don't know. I always wanted to do it, and then you always wanted to do it. Yeah. Since when? Since like middle school. Mm-hmm. And then I never really had the time with soccer, and then I switched schools, and then I started working at Boathouse, and then I was just like, "Let's give it a shot." Yeah. And then uh, where where did the how did we come up with the name? I came up with the name in math class. Yeah? I was just trying to find a name. How long? Uh, but I remember you had a couple out. other names, right? Yeah, I don't remember them, but yeah. And but do you like that one. Yeah? And then what did it come to? We went from NTRL. Because I don't remember this actually very clearly. I remember we just kind of became like business partners kind of thing. But like, you know, fake ass business kind of like it high was school. Fun. We made some good money off of it. No, we... <laughs> You we borrowed money from your dad. You can pay him back. <laughs> it's funny. But we moved on to um, to to clothing supplier. Was that that was that at that time? The middleman. Oh, like to businesses. Yeah. Yeah, it was after like, I don't know, like towards the end, we just decided to do that, and then it kind of fell off, and then I kept doing it on the side, but <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. I did it for a couple dealerships and like okay. some of my dad's friends. But that was the start of pretty much like your whole business thing, right? Like where you kind of mm-hmm. you're like I'm going to do I'm going to do business. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try business. Mm-hmm. And it came to how I've actually talked about this story briefly recently, how we started can't how did I started taking photography? It was you. And I'm actually I've always been interested in what sparked you to start that. Was that also a thing that you were thinking about before? Um, yeah, well, kind of like I always wanted to kind of. You always wanted to do a lot of things, eh? I always wanted to do it, and then you. So you always wanted to start a clothing well, company. You always wanted to. It. Yeah, and then I wanted to do photography. So you're just a man of then, full ideas. And then uh, I don't know. For some reason, I was just like, nah. Like, why would I want to do that? And then Hallie, there was I could probably find the picture. <laughs> it was. We're going live. It was right right when I switched uh, schools, um, and I went to Calypso. What's up, Instagram live stream? We're out here. I went to Calypso with, I forget who, but I think it was Lila, Sarah, and Alice. Yeah. And we took a picture. I you know, I remember the it. picture. Don't worry. I'll throw it up. I'll throw it up. I'll throw it up on screen. You gotta show it. No, it's fine. <laughs> so you <laughs> took a picture, it. and that's when. Anyways, we took a picture, and then I was. Was in that English a phone class. photo, by the way, or yeah. did you have your camera by then? No, it was a phone photo. This one. Yeah. You no, can be able to see it. Oh, you can zoom in on that. It was that one, and then I was sitting in English class, and then I uh, was just looking at it, bored out of my mind. Yeah. And then uh, I changed the caption. Uh, put hashtags on it and then bought a camera. The you next became week. The, the hashtag dude. Yeah, everyone started making fun of me. Do you remember this, Hallie? Everyone started making fun of me and then everyone started picking up a camera after. So who go started fuck picking up a camera? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> okay, but you was there any uh, was that the inspiration? You were looking at this photo and you're like, I'm gonna take more photos? Or did you have the inspiration? Did you have it? Did it you? was more of like a, a fuck it moment. I was like, fuck it. And then I just went for it. Okay. And then I blew my whole paycheck on a camera the next week. You like to do that a lot, eh? You just blow your whole paycheck on things? Yeah, not anymore, but yeah. No, you still do. You still, you still do. And you what, still do. what did I blow it on? No, I'm he talking blo- to you. He, blo- <laughs> <laughs> he, blow- he, he blows his paycheck all the time. Not but, all the um, time. Now I it, blow it when it comes how back. Did the vi- so. Okay, but moving on. How did the video start? I don't even... Can you... Do you remember this clearly? Because I don't remember. We started taking photos mid-winter. And mm-hmm. then you went on a no, trip I started to in Jasper. The fall, and then you started Was the, the trip winter. to Jasper because you wanted to snowboard or because you wanted to take photos? A bit of both. A bit of both? A bit of both. <laughs> it was fun. I don't know. I just wanted to go. It was fun. Yeah? It, you three weeks gone was a bit on a trip long. since then. No. How is it going to Jasper? What it was, was your really experience? Nice. Have you traveled alone before that? No. That was my first one. What is it like? It's fun. I mean, like, it was a bit... Are you stressed? <laughs> no. Did you travel with your snowboard? Mm-hmm. Yeah? The, the the most worrying part about it was losing my snowboard. You lost it? No, like, like, like worrying oh, about you... losing it. Because then I was just like, why would I go on the trip? Because you take photos. Yeah, but it was only half the trip. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I was really excited to go snowboarding. And, like, I already booked a bunch of passes for hills and stuff okay. before I went. So. But you made a video there, right? With a GoPro? Yeah, I made like a short one. 
getting there. Honestly, and bro, then I was gonna make one there, and it just it didn't I'll work be honest, out, so your content game is low compared to me, bro. I'm, I'm doing something different. Yeah, but even then, like I remember, you would always say you'd be doing a lot of videos, but you would make like one a week kind of thing, like one a. Are you more of a photo or video guy? Would you say which one do you more prefer? More of a photo guy as a hobby, more of a video guy for business. Okay. Wait, say it one more time. I, that blew like, over I'll my do, head. <laughs> I'll do photos for fun, but like mainly I do videos when people need videos. But you like to, photos more? If you had to choose one for the rest of your life, which one would you do? Probably video. It's more challenging. What's your favorite food? <laughs> I'm food. Kidding. I'm kidding. Um, okay, so you started doing videos, um, and then you was it you that came to me with the music video idea? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of just going through the history right now like, because we have a dense was, history of I was, sales. I was working, and then I was like, I don't want to work here anymore. Where were you working? At the shop. Bow House. No, at the when shop. When did you quit Bow House? Uh, right when I went to Jasper. Really? Mm -hmm. Right for your trip? Mm -hmm. Kind of like me. Mm -hmm. And then I came back and I started working at the shop. Okay, and then you were bored at the shop? And I was bored at the shop, and then I hit up Kai to do a music video, and then I asked you if you wanted to help, and then we just started doing it. Where does that. this, like, is it really your ideas come from when you're bored? My ideas Let's get come, into this. Where do you get your idea? Where do you get your ideas from? When I'm doing something I don't like to do. That's when you get your ideas? Not Absolutely. at the gym? Not at the gym, too, but most of them are when I'm doing stuff I don't like doing. Or, like, when I'm not happy with what I'm doing. Okay. And then how do your... How do you decide if you want to continue an idea or not? Um, how well it's doing, how good you feel about it, how... Let's talk about a day... I don't know. Let's hear, let's it just break it down. Let's talk place. about a day in a life of Jaden Moyes. So like, walk, like, walk me through it. or like before? Let's talk about a l before and then how it switched lately. So how before, when you were doing music videos, what was your like day with like? with you? Yeah. You work at the shop full time and then we just throw in music videos here and there? Yeah, we barely did any, though. Yeah. It was kind of... Uh, yeah, we actually uh, barely did any. It other. was kind of a thing just Seven to get videos? out of the house. It's just a thing well, would you be doing a lot of editing and stuff? Like, I feel like most yeah. of your life was working. Yeah. You were kind of confused where you wanted to go, or did you want to go all in on that? Because I know recently you've gone all in on it, but before just, it was kind of like you were half... Like, I just you know, try like you weren't all, you Like, just, I'll do something, I'll try it, and then I get bored, and then I drop it and try something else. Yeah? And then... I don't know. Now it just seems like everything I tried kind of failed. F failed, but now that I'm doing this, like it all, like everything, I learned something that I can use now. Yeah. So do you feel more like complete now that it's not going to slow down with the music videos kind of thing? Yeah. Like you have your pattern in. Yeah. Because I would like, feel the it's same thing. Definitely going to be up and down, but I'm definitely not going to go a month without two or three. Like I'm always gonna have them. Okay. And, and what like, are you I gonna fill other, with? I have other videos to do as well. So. But do you just like the video whole thing right now? Because I haven't seen. I find you haven't not been doing as many photos. You kind of like delegate yeah, that I'm to just, your boy. But <laughs> <laughs> well, cause I have to film the the shoot. I can film, bro. But, but <laughs> hit me up. I find it's more challenging. It's a new challenge. Photos kind of get boring when yeah, I. Yeah, that's do what it I'm saying. Much. Photos I find are really. Base, like it's slap on a preset you're good to go you can edit them mm -hmm. differently but at the same time if you have your own style like it's like always going to be the same it's, I guess relaxing to do it but I don't know videos are more challenging there's more thought that goes into it and more it, and I they, think it's a better product more. right no okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> they paid more okay but what's the day of life now then compared to before where it was just kind of you threw in your video kind of thing now um, you're taking it more seriously I know it, but I yeah, just want the like, audience like, to know. <laughs> well, let's talk about the winter. When we he were starts his day else. with McDonald's. <laughs> I will start my day with McDonald's. Lately, 50%. <laughs> honestly, lately. How have you been feeling lately? Lately, I've been feeling stressed and worn out. Why? Because I, this actually let's get to, last... No, let's get to, I want to, I want to, I want to destroy you right now. I want to, I want to know about your inner emotions, okay? It's not Why? emotions, I'm just doing a lot right now. Okay. Like, this is my last what do you day at the shop, actually. So the last two weeks, I've been doing my last two weeks at the shop. And then I've been doing videos pretty much every night So afterwards. I'm catching you right in the midst of your transition. Well, well no. Well, yeah. yeah, I guess. Like, I quit, <laughs> what do you mean, no? Well, yeah, a couple yeah. hours ago was my last day. But yeah, like, so like, How does I'd, it feel? I'd get up like 20 minutes before I have to go to work, go to work till nine to two. Damn. And then like, yo, so you're going to be free three, now, bro, to come hang to, out with your boy. Three to what? Seven was like when I'm shooting yeah. and then seven to like two in the morning, I've been editing and then to sleep and then wake up. That was like the last week. 
So you've been pretty much just working most of it and then editing mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. How do you mm-hmm. think it's going to change now that you're off? Um, late nights, I get to sleep in the next day, first of all. But now that I'm off, <laughs> now that I'm off, I'm going to have Are you excited? Okay. To start, are you excited? Uh, it honestly, it okay. Goes obviously, up and money down. is always a thing. It goes up and down. Like, are you not excited to be doing vo- videos though, full time? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm more excited to not have to do things I don't want to do. Yeah. Like, now I don't have to, like, if I don't want to do something, I don't have to go do it. Like, what do you mean? Like, if something, like, I don't know. Before I always found myself with like commitments that I don't really want to do, like work or I have to go to, I don't fucking know, like just some shit I don't want to do. Yeah. Now I'm like completely on my own schedule. I don't do you want to do anything. this podcast? Yeah. It was a bit <laughs> nervous, but yeah, it's fine. It was a bit nervous. Nerve, nerve <laughs> okay. Working. Let's finish off with the whole history thing. Um, do you feel like, I'm not gonna, like confident or like, you know, strong or like, you know, hopeful about your businesses nowadays that you have all that back experience because i do feel that like all our failures you gotta get punched in the face to kind of know what the real world is like kind of thing so if you compare yourself to you know for example when we started nt okay ntrl like we didn't know nothing when we started midnight labs you know that stage Mm -hmm. and then now going into you know the music video thing because i know you've always bent towards that whole you know music video because it's huge in culture especially hip-hop mm-hmm. um do you feel like you're gonna be a game big game player now or do you feel i am a big game player. <laughs> okay do you feel I more mean, confident towards yeah. it shooting editing yeah, um you know the business part of it i don't know how much you have understood well, yeah, the, of the business part of it but also just like the confidence and you know the drive towards doing it yeah. Or is it all? Is your life always just a up and down kind of? You know, I like it sometimes. It's like a balance, right? Well, yeah, you're always gonna have your good and bad days. Yeah, um, definitely. The more you do it, the the easier it gets. Like it's not. Are you are you responding to people? By the way, <laughs> <laughs> are you guys roasting? Someone's roasting you. Who? Who? Francis. No. Is it Francis? Riley. No. Tell us. I'll I'll I'll, I'll DM questions. you. I want to answer the questions. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get que- we're gonna get questions in soon. Statements. Okay. Um, Your statements. Yeah. Can you read the statements? Dax, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Jordan <laughs> King said that. Jordan, well, I was gonna podcast. I was gonna invite you on the podcast, Jordan, but it's too late. But sorry, continue. I don't remember what we were talking. We were talking about, about how do you feel. <laughs> confidence wise now compared to before I feel good because of all do you, the other- fe- do you feel good for the future because that's what i i want to hear from you bro like honestly i feel really good right now for the future and like you kind of like i know you're like not a really emotional kind of guy hmm. i don't okay well maybe with your girl maybe with your girl and shit like that and you, you know you- <laughs> i've only seen you cry once <laughs> um yeah uh honestly but and like we're good friends but um do you feel more confident you know is business going to be booming now? Of course. Okay, but like, in all seriousness, are <laughs> you course. confident? If it wasn't... If How I, is it different? If I wasn't, I wouldn't have quit my job. It's different because... Honestly, like, I've learned so much from the other stuff that we've done. Yeah. That, like, I like less mistakes were made this time. And honestly, before, we would just sit on our ass and expect people to come to us. Yeah, I remember and that. And this time, I would, like... When we were just starting doing videos, like we'd message like close to a hundred people a day trying to get them to give us a shot and then eventually it did and now we're starting to get traction uh just got a real estate contract so you've been going good good. you feel confident i feel confident and like now like i'm starting to realize that when you're scared of something usually something good is on the other side of it yeah so whenever you're scared of something just go do it get it over with and something will happen well yeah you know like there's the possibility if nothing happens then at least you know and you can move on. Okay. Instead of sitting on it and not doing shit. Okay, so let's get into... Well, it's good to know. I'm actually excited that you're happy and stuff. Like, um, usually we would... Someone would like to know... Yes. What the future of 3 Co is. Oh, yeah, that's it's a good strong. question. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't... Can you can you ask a more specific question? No, no, no. no. And who is asking the question? You gotta elaborate. Question? Elaborate. Tell us what... Elaborate on, on the, the future of 350 Co. What's the... It's just that's the question? Who and who asked it? Jordan. Jordan King. Okay. Um, the what, how do you see your guys, you guys going towards like, 
big name, you know, Hollywood style contracts or just like banging out. Like, you know, there's like a huge difference between those huge setups. I'm aware. And, you know, honestly, <laughs> right now we're trying to find a balance because like we understand that like not everybody's going to have those budgets, those thousand dollar, three thousand dollar budgets. Yep. And there's always room for those five hundred dollar videos. So we got to. Would you ha- w- do you guys like helping spread talent kind of thing? Would you ever you consider, mean? like, if there's someone who's really, you know, you respect their music, like, giving them a deal kind of thing? Cause you I'll see give them it. a deal, but I'm not doing shit for free. Yeah, okay, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying <laughs> like, that. I'm always willing to work shit out, but at the end of the day, if you're not willing to pay to make you don't your craft your, better, yeah. you're not going to respect the product that I give you. Yeah. So, like, even if it's a couple hundred And you bucks, have to respect what they're doing for you, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, so... A business end, is a yeah, business. Yeah, so, like, I'm always willing to work something out, but there's got to be something in it for both Yeah, of us. really, at the end of the day, I find you have to value your work at what you think is worth mm-hmm. and not undervalue just because, you know, you feel bad or some sort of emotion mm-hmm. kind of or thing Or even, like, like, what the market is saying. Like, when we, when we first started in the beginning of the summer, the prices were, like, 200 300 yeah, okay. bucks, and we're like, no. And now we're charging, like... I'm not gonna say, but yeah, like between four and a thousand bucks so per video. So let's talk. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how you got that. Because I was gone. I was gone the whole time, and then you're like, "Yo, I'm doing 350 Koga." I'm like, "Good luck." It's like <laughs> I would have like been like, "Yeah, I could help out," but like I'm gone. Um, and pretty much, how did you get that business? Because I know you're doing some decent contracts right now. Um, how did you get that started? Well, what did you do different compared to what we did the last time? And you know catching those things because i think one thing you did was value yourself higher so people mm-hmm. see that value in it because mm-hmm. if you let people value you it's going to be lower than you know if you say yeah. i'm not doing videos for under this mm-hmm. you set because there is a, there is a how do you say like a luxury or a high like a high class ticket a high ticket client there mm-hmm. are high ticket clients out there not like the crazy like we're not talking crazy high but you can't just think that everyone is going to pay 300 dollars for a video some people will think if they're going to pay $300 yeah. for a video, it's going to be an absolute trash video, even if your skills are good. Mm-hmm. So you have to value yourself at that, you know, say, oh, I only do videos for one, $1,000. Like that's my minimum. Then you value yourself as a higher ticket client and you know you're going to do a good job kind mm-hmm. of thing. I find it's a mental game too. Yeah. So how for, did you pick that? How did you pick up and grow to that? Pretty much. I realized that like compared to what we did last time, last time we didn't really go after getting clients. We just kind of let it come to us. And this time I really just went on offense and messaged a bunch of people yeah. to get somebody to give me a what shot. Was your, let's, let's see if we can help people out. What was your strategy for that? Um, okay, Did you give so value? On, this was my strategy. Starting if anyone out. wants so, to start a video production company. So we already had our portfolio from the last time we yeah, did it. They weren't, they weren't the best. Yeah. They were okay, but they weren't the best. So Start I with a it. portfolio. Yeah. If you Do don't videos have something, for your friends. Get, get at least one for free Yeah, and then start off cheap. So I had that and I'm like, okay, I was like, what? My lowest price right now is $500. What are these videos worth? They're worth about 300. Okay. So I was like, I'm going to message them to people, show them these and say, my price is $300, let's do a video for you. It took a while to get one, but I got one. They can hear me, I can see the little waves. But I got <laughs> one um, for, I think it was 375 Okay, um, and he gave you a shot? Honestly, he said that was too expensive for what I was showing him, and I'm like, look, bro, <laughs> like I'm worth more than this, just give me a shot on this. If you don't like it, I'll give you all your money back. So anyways, he gave me a shot, I did that, he loved it, and then after that, no one questioned 500 bucks anymore. Yeah. And now we're charging even more than that. Well, yeah, so. the thing is, though, you you we have that up in standard kind of thing where your video, you have to have, like, I think one thing you have to do on your, um, on your, on your roll is have pretty much a standard that you can shoot at nowadays. The thing is, those videos were old, right? Mm-hmm. And obviously, two years, a year later, your videos are going to be a lot better, especially because you have 4K gear, you have stabilizers, you have plenty mm-hmm. of other gear that makes your, not only that, but also your knowledge in the field has gone better. Um, so you have to, you know, make an example video. And if you, if you haven't done videos in a while, either try his strategy where you, you charge go, what your old videos where you are charge worth. what your old videos are worth, or even do a free, really good video for someone you respect. Mm-hmm. Just one video. It doesn't take that long. Really? Like if you 
are good enough at your craft, you can do a video. I think you can do you could do a same day edit, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's a simple video like if that, if you've been doing it a while, if you're doing, yeah, okay, like if you're just starting, it's different. And yeah. if you're just starting, this process is gonna take a lot longer. The thing is, you've mm-hmm. already we already had stuff you've already been before. on that that video wave for mm-hmm. three years, and that's why it's good if you've been dabbling in video recently. You have something to show. You have you. something to show. The thing is, if you just like instantly see a camera and you're like, I'm gonna go straight in and start doing music videos. Yeah. It's gonna be t- it's gonna be a lot tougher because Do you don't know the free. you don't know the things you don't know the techniques you don't know the this that, and that even if you search it and you're like oh I know this right now the thing is you you might forget it and that knowledge base won't be as big mm-hmm. and when you're nervous on set it's a completely different game, mm-hmm. but and also like know what the market price is before you set a price. Did you do that? Well, because I already knew from when we were doing it before the market price like i like what everybody believe- else is charging because you can't come way like out of field with like oh i'm charging three grand for a video but everyone else is charging 200 do you think though because be i same, believe in different I level said, clients don't I'm, you think some people are willing well, to pay more they don't want to pay those cheap guys because they know they're not mm, going to do a but good those, quality those higher quality clients are not going to hire you if you've got nothing mm-hmm. so you got to start with those I yeah call, start call, at the base the I market call them line bum clients <laughs> Okay, let's not, you let's start, not with the, you gotta start with the bum clients and, and then, then move your way up. Um, he'll pay him $600 we're do- for Illidan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're doing one with Jordan soon. Okay. You have to use $100 to promo it. Well, okay. We'll talk later. <laughs> he'll talk. It's not time for business, Jordan. <laughs> Just I'll, send I'll him a message. I'll, I'll sell on this podcast. This is closing a deal on the podcast. <laughs> Okay, but you so you you went and you started and you said okay. You know what? Yes, I'll do that. That makes sense. I'll you just saw it. Um, yeah, Facebook ads. He's got you. Um, pretty much, you started and you DM'd all these people. You got that first video. Where did it go from there? How did how was the expansion? Was it instant? Like oh, you're getting your your booking shoots left and right, or was it a slowish no. process at the start? Um, so when that video went out, um, it did pretty good. It got a couple thousand views. I don't remember what it's at actually, but um, so pretty much once we had that one, we kept the same strategy going, yeah. uh, DMing a bunch of people, and then we had something that actually showed what we could do now. Okay. Um, and then I say five hundred, and then it was a lot easier selling that price point with what we sh- saw then. Yeah. And then we started doing more shoots for people, um, and then they would bring all their friends to the shoot. And then we meet more rappers, and then they started asking. So it's a very, it's a very, it's a very word, word to mouth, word of mouth, word yeah. of mouth kind of expansion. Mm-hmm. And even now, like, like right now, it's starting to slow down. So we'll probably have to keep reaching out to people. Yeah. But every time I think it's slowing down, more people reach out. So yeah, um, yeah. Did you ever felt stressed that you have too many shoots yet, or has that no. that point not no. got, got well, gotten? Yes, and what's the question? Kenny Lithic says, "Do you believe in God?" Oh, we're going into God right now. <laughs> That's a controversial. Keep it simple. Subject. I'm. Not, I don't believe in God. I believe in energies. Explain. I believe there's good energies and bad energies. I don't believe in. Is a it like a spirit? No, just energy. Like there's good, <laughs> like doing? like good energy attracts good energy and bad energy. You're gonna have to restart the the video up there. Yeah. So word of mouth is the game kind of thing. Have you ever yeah. Have you ever debated? Oh yeah. Um. I'm talking about God. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I t- I answered it. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. About what? Okay, so word to mouth <laughs> is the game. Have you ever thought... We were of... talking about if I have too many shoots. Okay. And my answer was no, because I'd rather have too much than not enough, and if there's too much, there's always a way to handle it. Either I hire people to do things for me, or I something came up, I have to reschedule. There's always a way to do it, close the deal, and then worry about it after. Okay. That's kind of your play? That's what's So for expansion, are you... Any plans for the future for, as far as that goes? Um, mm-hmm. Um, for yeah, so for Facebook ads, like, what's your technique for that? You know, like, just let everyone know because I'm sure they'll, they want to know. Yeah, sure, they won't do it anyways. Um, <laughs> That's the thing. No one's gonna. Most no, people no don't do. Action, and so. plus, if you don't have that um, so pretty much, <laughs> music videos are gonna kind of. Um, they're kind of chilling right now. Kind of let them do their thing. They're gonna come in and out. Yeah, obviously. Um, I got real estate going right now. But you're um, on the brink of you know living. What do you mean? No, not brink of living, but I like your you your your money is low. No, I'm. That is one thing. Sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> like I'm comfortable. I may not be in a couple weeks, but that's okay. Okay. Right now I'm okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got real estate now. 
Um, and so then, you've got the music videos down. You have a team of you know a f- five, four, three, 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 three or four, three plus. You know, like if he has to, you know, he he's got contacts. Mm-hmm. I'm them. one of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can link yeah, you with I others Real too. estate, and then I'm gonna try to get into uh, doing promotional work for businesses like videos and photos, um, and then start selling them uh, advertising campaigns. Just talking to the mic advertising campaigns okay so what's the plan for that right now you just kind of dabble like is there any hardcore like you know i'm dming i'm going hard i'm growing and also let's talk no, no, sorry i'll talk about that after but yeah is there any stra- any um like offense right now strategy offense right now or is it just kind uh, of living to live because you know i respect that right now um right now we're well we have three videos we're editing right now music videos so we're just trying to finish those we okay. have a couple shoots lined up and then I'm the real estate just started yeah so I'm kind of letting everything settle I don't like to spread myself too thin okay and then once those things kind of get in autopilot then I'll move on to autopilot as in as in I barely have to touch it I just have to do a little work for it every now and then okay but is it an auto are you so are you Not thinking of hiring a, like, are you thinking of hiring a team or would you do more contracty work kind of thing for the company cuz expansion usually does involve like obviously I'm gonna, work. I'm gonna have a team um, do you want a set in stone team do you think you're going to be able no, to do that no I don't just want a, a that. group of people you can go to. I don't want to hire people on payroll. Like I'll hire them for contracts. Like, yeah, okay. I have this project. I'm not promising any work after that. I just need you to do this. this but you're not at that pay. stage yet, eh? No. No. Well, every every now and then. Okay. But not consistently. Um, but once it gets to that point, probably start doing businesses. Okay. So let's let's sway away from the whole business side of it. Let's talk about the nit and gritty music videos. How it's done. Walk me through the process love to say of your latest video the latest one what whatever your well, your your workflow from start to finish you get that message from that guy he says yo hit me up let's do a music video where do you go from there uh you ask what his budget is okay see how much he's it's always straight to... straight to money well because it's like i don't it has like, a, it it has a to... restriction right on what what you can produce yeah, like it's not like it. Not all of it goes to what's paying us. Like it needs like locations. If we have to book an Airbnb, if we need to do get you go special budget lights first, or do you go what do you want first, and then you tell them how much it is, and then you flex. It depends because a lot of the time, like so. Okay, so they'll say. Does it depend uh, on the I client? Wanna, it depends. So like sometimes <laughs> they'll be like they'll reach out first and be like, "Okay, do you have a song you want to do? I'll listen to this song." Um, so you like, pick and choose. I listen sometimes? to the song first because if the song's not good, like sometimes I'm like I don't want to edit. Well, the it. thing is, if the song's not good, you're not gonna be. I don't want to take it. their money. If if it's not gonna do anything for them, I don't want to. Like I don't really want to do it. The thing about that is just you're not into it as yeah, you know. You're not gonna the put quality your work is not gonna be. It. The work is not gonna be in it if you don't enjoy what you're doing. Like whenever mm-hmm. I'm making a video, I always need to choose a song that I enjoy mm-hmm. and I think fits well. And then I can jam to, so then when I'm watching the video after, I was, or when you're watching the uh, video while you're on that, t- when you're, while you're on that work station, mm-hmm. li- listening it after, over and over mm-hmm. and over again. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much, as in a song, ask what their budget is, they tell me, I say, okay, for that we can do something like this. I'll send them reference videos. What do you mean, for that we can, so you give, a, you give them an idea? Yeah, or, so, or if they have an idea, they'll pitch to me, but sometimes they don't. It's like, uh, whatever you're feeling, so I'll ask what their budget is so I have what room I can play Okay, in. well, you can do And then I'll say, for this, we can do a lighting setup like this. We can get an Airbnb. Do you ever think about we the song and, like, relinking it to make sense kind of thing? It, yeah, some songs require a story. Some songs don't. They just need good visuals. Good so. visuals, but do your visuals ever, like, do you, I guess that's the thing that comes into the flow, right, of, you know, if the song's about, I don't know, Killing. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. See, it, those songs. The set are is going to be more. Yeah. Like, like the new, like the one we just shot, uh, was an, kind of about a. She's sleeping. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Our camera holder has fallen asleep. No, she's bullshitting. No, she's sleeping. Anyways, how is she holding the camera there? I don't know. Excuse me. <laughs> she's You're alive. Awake? Are you sleeping? Okay. How are you holding the camera while you're sleeping? It's stable. Okay. Anyways, okay. Um, the last one we did was kind of a, like an R&B song about a breakup. Um, okay. So that one, and his budget was higher, so that one we did two-day shoots. We got a hotel room. 
there were longer shoots. We bought lights for it. We're doing a bunch of effects on it. And there's a story. We had a lead girl actor for it. Yeah. So it kind of like, makes sense. Yeah. There. The higher the budget, the more thought and planning that can go into it. But yeah. The more flexibility you mean you have with the plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So once you have that plan down, you pitch it to him pretty much. Pitch pretty much. Client. Yeah. Like, do you have a meeting your... or is that over video usually? Uh, like FaceTime. FaceTime. Good. I don't you're like met... driving across the city for nothing. So. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Um, so you piss them the idea they either like it or not like mm-hmm. do, usually they like it probably kind of thing usually yeah usually or they, they, they throw in their got, kind of I ideas I good ideas sometimes yeah they'll, you they'll are a good idea them. man I will say that if you need <laughs> we, good ideas hit this guy we, up yeah we, sometimes they like they'll throw in ideas we'll mix them together okay how does pre um, shoot preparation go kind of thing like you just it's like a three second like you just throw all your shit in your car or do you actually prepare the day before like like preparing like the shots like sh- like uh, pre I'm talking planning pre, or pre-shop like, planning dinner. before you're actually at the set kind of thing. Like, what do you do? Uh, once you know. have that idea, you, you've you Once I have the idea, I look for inspiration for sets that I can put towards the idea. Like, so like I'll look at other vi- music videos and I'll make, oh, I like that set, but what, what can I do to make it different? Okay. How can I add my own <laughs> flair to it? And then I'll use that. Um, and then I'll be like, what gear do I need? And then I'll put all the gear ready for the next day and okay. I just have to go you, and then so it's all ready in the car and you just go mm-hmm. how how does your how does your system work with if they show up late because this is the problem we had before <laughs> um so do you take late comers yeah sometimes like it's it's hard because like it's like what's the cutoff point because like we agreed on a certain amount of money and I'm like I want that money but if I leave I don't get the money right yeah so we're trying to find a balance right now we're doing uh we split it into three payments yeah uh there's one payment that we need before we show up to the shoot okay that way if they're late we we can leave and say if you want to shoot again no makes sense this is what we're keeping because we wasted our time doing it okay um after we shoot let's say they show up on time after we shoot we need another payment before we start editing yeah because a lot of the time like we'll start editing and then the like yo the video's done and they're like oh I don't have the money right now and then we're sitting on it for a month so at least this way we have two thirds of the money yeah the video's done and then we just need that last third before we give them everything have you ever had ghosters like like after the video's done yeah uh Was ghosters it? no they just take a long time to pay okay but it usually comes through kind of thing yeah yeah well we well, had it we makes had sense one, having that safety barrier there we had one that uh we actually okay so we, had, we, were, we were supposed to shoot one day. Yeah. We go to the shoot. One of the guys was three hours late, so we rescheduled for the next day. Then they were an hour and a half late. And then, anyways, we're like, okay, whatever, we'll shoot. And then after the shoot, we're like, can we get the deposit? Because they, they hadn't given us the deposit yet. So lesson one, get the money first. Yeah. Um, and then we're like, yeah, the, we'll e-transfer you when we, when we get home. I'm like, okay. Long story short, I wait three weeks. They've given me... Let's say the deposit was two fifty. They're giving me two hundred. Okay. I'm like, can I get the last fifty? They're like, where's the preview? I'm like, I told you, I'm not editing until I get the deposit. And then I was like, give me the fifty bucks. You can have the footage. You can take it somewhere else. So, don't deal you with get, clients you don't want to deal yeah, with. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sure. sense. Like you know, you got to choose your clients, and you kind of have those. You got to communicate and make sure you have that stepping stone in. And I think getting the money before just. It just gets it, it, it's safety and it's mm-hmm. not only a safety but also just for the client itself to not create tension in the post processing thing because that's probably what happened the guy was pissed off but you know at the same time he should have paid it. yeah you guys were both pissed off and create tension and it's just not a good conversation but mm-hmm. so you're at this shoot uh, how's the directing go so you're a cameraman and right now you're you know director of photography and cameraman and director and everything yeah. you do it all kind of yeah yeah as far as on set goes, what are your most favorite of camera moves? I don't really have any. If it works, it works. <laughs> it works, it works. I just kind of do it I, while I'm shooting. Well, how do you set up a shot, kind of thing? Like, let's say you know you got a, you got a, you got your model or you got your artist there. Mm-hmm. You got your lights. Like, what's your go-to setup? Three-point lighting. Well, like, it what's depends, something you've been seeing? It's a lot of people can't afford the lighting setups. I don't bring it up. To <laughs> okay, what do you shoot. do if they can't afford the lighting setup? Then we pick a nice. Uh, location and, nice. and when I get there I'm like okay let's shoot here and then I kind of it's all kind of all on the spot it's kind of all those you have no do you here. do any shot lists or anything sometimes yeah if, if it's if it's more of a if the video needs to be planned out then yeah but sometimes it's just a 
Do I walk this spot, one location, like the one you came to? Do you do multiple shots, angles for the same shot, or is it kind of like a... uh, I'll usually do two, one close and medium, and then one medium and far, and mix them in. So you have, sometimes it goes out of focus, so you'll always have a part in focus. Yeah, I have choices in the editing process. Yeah. Okay. How long does a shoot usually take? Do you have a cap on that? Um, the standard video standard video package it seems is like three there's hours. A, I, I should probably not ask you such specific questions because it's so flexible eh? whatever it depends like honestly on average three hours for a one day shoot okay three hour time okay over that needs to be another day damn you're working hard then eh kind of kind of so you get home to the editing table mm-hmm. air footage do mm-hmm. you do you instantly start editing when you get home no you well, edit. Francis edits. Francis does. So what happens is with the editing, I'll shoot. Francis will rough cut. Put a rough cut. I'll play with it. He'll play with it. I'll put final touches like color grade and stuff, and then we'll send it up. So it, it touches both of us two times. So it's perfect. Well, yeah, like you have to make sure there's no and errors also, and things like, like that. Like we're both biased to our choices, so having different opinions bounce back and forth, I find makes it a better overall project. Yeah. I think so. How did your workflow go in transferring? Because I've always wondered that, like transferring the video files, is it all everyone has on the same computer? Well, no. Okay, so Creative Cloud I have, Share. No. Um, so I'm just. Pro, this is for me. I'm just interested in pro how you share tip, stuff. If you know someone who goes to a university or a high school, they get <laughs> they get unlimited Google uh, Google Cloud storage for free. Google Drive. Yeah, they get unlimited that, and you can get something on your laptop called uh, Drive Stream. Or what is it? Drive file stream, something like that, and it goes. It's like a. It's like a hard drive. Yeah. Um. So I, basically, my whole laptop's on the drive stream. Um. So I have that on my laptop. What do you mean your whole laptop? Like all it's, my files are on my drive okay. stream, including the project file. Okay. So like whenever I save it, it goes into the drive, and now it's in the cloud. Francis has it on his laptop as well. Okay. So like when I save it, it updates on his computer, and he can edit it right away. Oh, okay. So that's how we do it. Yeah. That's a good workflow, actually, yeah. for sharing, especially. Like yeah. I've seen that. As far as like like when you're doing shared projects, it's really easy. Well, uh, for see- sending clients files, I use WeTransfer. It's yeah, really I use easy. WeTransfer. WeTransfer is deadly, honestly. It's such a good mm-hmm. technique. But I've seen something recently in Premiere. It's shared project. Yeah, I think it's more for bigger teams kind of thing. But what the feature does is pretty much you have your project. And people can be working on the different parts of the project. So they have their own project files. Let's, let's say, you know, like I think it's for bigger, you know, videos, like, you know, like 30 minute or 40 minute videos. Mm-hmm. People work on different parts. So they take their part, they put in their project and they can lock their project. So no one can go in there and make edits while you're doing your work. And then once it's done, you can put it back. Um, you save it and it automatically. Probably costs money though. No, no, it's a free feature. There is a team. That's the thing I was talking about. The, the, the thing that costs money is team projects. That's completely mm-hmm. different. That's like. A bunch of people can work on the same project kind of thing. But um, what are your go-to... Like, so I'm kind of confused. Francis does a rough cut. What do you mean you do... Do you do effects? Okay. So you guys both do stuff? What we do. So let's say I'll, I'll shoot it. Yeah. Give it to Francis. Francis edits it until he's like... Um, either until he's blocked creatively. He's like, yeah, I don't know what else to do. Or he's happy with it. If he's happy with it, I'll probably just do a couple more touches and then it's done. Okay. If he's blocked, I'll take it and do something. You can see me. I'm talking pretty loud. Um, I'll take it and do stuff to it, and then that'll usually open doors for him to do other stuff. And okay. I'll look it over, and so then it's just a thrill back done. and forth. And then it's the, either two or four times that. Okay, it and then the goes client back. sends you the money, and you send the video out, kind of thing. Yeah. So That's like, I'll usually process. just record the screen on my phone to show it to the client if he wants a couple changes. Oh, really? We'll you do don't it. actually export them a preview? No. You just send it to me. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no. you don't want to send them a preview. If I don't know them, no. Like if it's a homie, sure, but okay, you're, let's, not, you're not getting any good quality okay, until let's, you pay. We're gonna them. wrap it up here. What's the play for the future? Future of Jaden Moyes. Where do you want to be? Aspirations. Things you want to do. The businesses. Next up is a marketing agency. And marketing that, agency. Yeah. And then after that, real estate. And then after that, millions. Real estate after marketing agency? Yeah, because I need money to do real estate. <laughs> going in with pennies. <laughs> Why not? Okay, you go into real estate with pennies. Tell What's, me how it goes. Where do you think you're going to be in 10 years? Millionaire. Okay, that's like seriously. <laughs> seriously, millionaire, 10 years. 
Millionaire. Mm-hmm. Million dollars in your bank? More than that. Million dollars in five. Million dollars in five cents? <laughs> in five years. Million, multi-millionaire. <laughs> okay, bro. I hope you enjoyed being on the podcast. It was fun. It was fun. Mm-hmm. I'm so you get, hot. You need some more cameras in here. Though. I'm so hot. Like, the you, know, you know, like dramatic cameras when they start looking around, like when someone says something stupid, you need like at least three more cameras in here. That's yeah, so why we look at the and other some, cameras. some like neon lights or something, like a Dax Brule. Okay, sign. he just comes in here neon and he roasts right here. Before we sign off, thing. any questions that we have that have been missed? How many viewers we got first? Q and A with zero viewers, eh? Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, bro. That's um, more than I thought. I was expecting. Any questions? To, uh, any questions from the viewers? Briefly, okay, call in. Call in. Booze. What? You get some more booze. We don't. We don't have any booze. Sorry. Are you even nineteen? You're eighteen. I'm nineteen. You're bro. young. You're young blood. You're eighteen. Young blood. Any questions from the viewers? Oh, the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, do you have a question for us? No. Don't worry. Well, if call in, call in now if you want. But uh, if not, I think this podcast is done. Thanks for coming on, bro. Hope you enjoyed. I want to be on again. I want to be on once a week. I'm the... <laughs> I'm the, I'm the uh, anything anything the, you want to uh, say before you go? Dax eats ass. No. Someone that, that's said, done. not here. Good shit. Keep going, bro. Who's that? What's his name? What's his username? He's a Fopix. Huh? Is a Fopix? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Or ma'am. Okay. Yeah. See you guys later. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys have a good whatever day, wherever you're driving. Have a good weekend, guys. Have a good I don't know what's going to drop, though. Um, uh, Have a good weekend, wherever you are, driving in your car, listening, and uh, share this podcast with your friends if you enjoyed. So, um, On LinkedIn. We don't use the other shit. Bye.